around here be sure to like comment and subscribe but now let's get into this little tutorial it's not going to take very long it's very easy to set up but it is quite rewarding now i should say this works on almost any device you've got laying around in your house that's got a screen and is connected to the internet unless of course it's your fridge or something i don't know uh, what people have nowadays phone any sort of monitor that's connected to a pc or a laptop, tablet, iPad, anything like that, it should work. There's also a list of compatible browsers, which is how it get works basically. And you can find that list on the Fly by Wire website. So here we are in the uh, the A320. What we're going to do is turn our battery on and our external power on, and that will just get everything turned on. And you can see our MCDU is on. Then all you're going to want to do is come into your files. Microsoft Flight Sim files, it's very easy to do. So if you're on Steam, that's going to be users, your name, app data, roaming, Microsoft Flight Sim, community, and then come down and find the fly-by-wire mod. Now, in the olden days, about a year ago, when everyone was setting up Microsoft Flight Sim, I'd have to explain this process of how to find this file about 80 times for everyone's different computer, but I hope nowadays you know how to find your community file. You're then going to want to click uh, Fly by Wire Aircraft A320neo, come down to MCDU Server, you should see it there, and then run it basically. Now if you don't see this, you'll need to upgrade your Fly by Wire package. You might not have upgraded it for a while. That's very easy to do, come onto the installer, and I recommend you select Development Mode and Install, because I don't know if this is on the stable version, I don't imagine it is. So come over to development mode and install, easy as that. Then once you're running it, you'll see what happens, it might ask you for a firewall thing, make sure you enable it, it takes a bit of loading up, then you're going to want to decide what you want here. Would you like to enable a, real, a printing to a real printer? Now for me that's going to be a no, but I'll explain what that does. Basically down here you've got that little printer, when you print stuff off with it to via the MCDU it comes out there, but if you've got a real printer then you'll be able to print off whatever your meter is there. Now you would have noticed we had a little pop up saying MCDU successfully connected, and indeed it is. Now what it's going to do is going to give you two options involving your private IP address. Now don't worry I'm not sharing my IP address when I am, but this is a private one so no one can access it anyway. It doesn't pose a threat to me or indeed you. This part here is your private IP address and this basically differentiates it as the fly-by-wire kind of MCDU. As you can see, to uh, control the MCDU from another device on your network, open this link in your web browser. Here I am doing it on my phone and it works exceptionally well. If you want to control it from your own device, and we'll do this now, then you just want to go and get this link. Open it into your web browser. And there we go, you can see we've got our MCDU right on the screen. Now as I've already showcased my phone one, I might as well showcase the web one. If you look, you can see everything works as it should do. You can input your flight plan on it, it's nice if, uh, of course, um, you do struggle to see on a monitor because you can make it bigger. But it's also very good for cockpit builders, being able to move this to another monitor, like that, or indeed to another tablet, and it works very well. And of course, when you input it on the device like you normally would, that will change it on that device. To recap what you need to do, go into your community file, select flyby-wire A320, or whatever you've got it called as. Then you'll get this kind of config menu. Follow the instructions on the screen. It's as easy as that. It really is easy. And I've linked the guide in down below just in case you do struggle still. Final thing I'd like to wish you all is a happy new year. I hope you really enjoy this function. When it works, it really works. And just look at that. I typed it on the web browser and it's basically instant. It's a lot of fun. Fly by wire. Keep it up. You continue to impress all of us and your hard work is much appreciated. From me today, that is all. Thank you so much to my first class channel members. Thank you to Captain Matt Russell, Jesse Wiseman, Ethan Bebeck, Owen Kay, Fanny Leibenberg, Hello, Simon Schmidt, and Sirifra, you guys really do help me out and it means a lot. From me today, I'll see you around. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed or even if you didn't. Bye bye.